I'm going to tell you something about uh, graphene. And um, for the people who do not know graphene, it was discovered in 2004. And the people who discovered graphene uh, got the Nobel Prize in 2010 for this discovery. Um, it's 200 times stronger than uh, steel. Uh, it's a great electric conductor and so on and so on and so on. So all over the world, uh, people are searching for uh, a way to make graphene on a large scale because then they can make a lot of money. Um, so I found an article about a lab in China um, that had developed a process uh, by calcination of calcium carbonate um, with magnesium to create um, graphene. So they used um, an oven. The oven was filled with argon and the oven was heated till 850 degrees. So um, at that point, the calcination started. So you can see that during um, the process in the oven at a temperature at 850 degrees, the calcination of calcium carbonate starts and calcium oxides uh, and um, CO2 um, exist. The CO2 will react with magnesium and form magnesium oxide and carbon monoxide. And the carbon monoxide will react with magnesium and then um, carbon will show up. Carbon was examined and it turned out to be graphene. So they have discovered a way to create uh, graphene. So the, the chemistry behind this whole project is uh, more or less uh, similar to the curriculum that we have in our country uh, for the school exams, uh, chemistry. And the good thing was, uh, I have all the chemicals in my uh, classroom. The only problem that I had was I don't have an oven, uh, which is filled with argon. So I had to, had to find a way to create enough heat for this calcination. So I thought of using a excess of magnesium because when you burn magnesium, um, the temperature, temperature can rise till 2200 degrees. That should be enough for this uh, calcination uh, reaction. Um, so I tried that and it turned out it worked. So I have created a school experiment uh, which I can demonstrate in my classroom and I can demonstrate the principle behind this uh, experiment from China. For me this is very important to, uh, to announce because I don't want to give the impression that I can make graphene with this experiment. I only can demonstrate the principles behind this process because we all know that uh, carbon can have different structures and you have to have the right circumstances to create graphene and in my classroom I don't have those circumstances. So again I'm not pretending to create graphene, I'm demonstrating the principles behind. So um, during my school experiment I use uh, calcium carbonate and I use one spatula of calcium carbonate, put it in a porcelain dish, and then I use an excess of magnesium. So in this case, I will mix two spatula magnesium with my calcium carbonate, and I will make a mixture of it. And I will demonstrate this, I will show this mixture to my students because they have to know they have to see that the mixture is light gray. They have to know that because we learn them if we have a chemical reaction, uh, they change the, uh, for instance, color or so, then we can see it's a chemical reaction. So they have to see the first starting material. So now this, there is enough heat for this calcination and this is the process that takes place. And this is the result. And you can see there's a big difference between the starting materials and the materials after the reaction. I did bring a result. You can really see it's very dark. So there should be carbon in it. 
now I have a, a, a new problem in my classroom with my students because we have a mixture of three solid chemicals and I want to separate the carbon from this mixture. And the question to you all is... Calcium oxide and magnesium oxide uh, as a base, like acid base. Uh, so I hope they will recognize it as a base. And then they should uh, answer that I have to use uh, an acid. And in this case, I will use hydrochloric acid because when it uh, reacts with the mixture, calcium oxide will react to calcium chloride and the magnesium oxide will react to the magnesium chloride. Both are salts that are very good soluble in water. So they will solve into my mixture. So now it's an interesting thing because uh, there's also gas in this reaction. You can really see there's a lot of gas coming uh, from... Uh, you saw that there was a gas um, and I want to know if you can answer the question which gas uh, did appear. When I have uh, used an excess of magnesium um, and the magnesium will react with uh, the hydro hydrochloric um, acid, hydrogen will be formed. If there still is calcium oxide in this mixture because it didn't react or because I used an excess of it, um, carbon dioxide will be in this reaction. So um, two gases are possible, hydrogen gas or um, carbon dioxide. I have now a mixture of um, a solution from calcium chloride and magnesium chloride and in the mixture is a, a solid carbon structure uh, and I have to separate this from this mixture so the next question is how do I separate it from uh, my mixture of course we use uh, filtration for this uh, process and uh, after the filtration this will be uh, the result so you can see a lot of black material in the filter and this is uh, carbon so and I hope that you all also will be very enthusiastic about this experiment and you will do it in your school also.